So you know your wallet is important to you. It has money. It has identification. Hell, it might even have your social security number in it. So you know that losing your wallet isn't really a good thing. You don't want to lose your wallet because it's practically your identity depending on how heavily you use it. If my wallet got stolen, I'd be fucked. But here's the deal. If you drop your wallet in a sewer, I don't think that you really have to worry about anyone else picking that up. You see, a man dropped his wallet down a sewer grade and decided to go after it. But when he got about halfway in, he realized he wasn't going to get to his wallet. Because he got stuck. The photo was kind of small, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyways. See, the really troubling thing about this photo to me is... I don't know if the stuff next to that sewer grate is dirt or... It's fucking nasty. Apparently he was actually discovered by the police. When they arrived on the scene, they kind of just saw two legs flailing in the air. Kind of like... Help! Get me out of here! It stinks! <laughs> Can you imagine seeing this shit? Maybe you were lucky enough to see that horse and buggy chase and you followed it. But somewhere along the chase, you just happened to see these two legs sticking out of the ground just... This sad, sad man. So the police tried to pull him out. It didn't work, so they had to get the fire department involved. And the fire department managed to get him out. Because they're badasses. And the guy who got stuck in the manhole got off with just a couple scrapes and some bruises. They said he was a little intoxicated, but not much, so really, he's just a dumbass. Take a lesson home from this, kids. Don't drink. Or better yet, just don't be a total fucking moron. Moving on! So there was a motorcycle crash in California. Minivan was slowing down to make a turn, and the motorcycle just didn't slow down in time and rear-ended it. The motorcyclist was actually flung off of his bike, through the back window of the minivan, and into the seats in the back. And if you thought that was weird, then get this, the minivan driver didn't even notice. The driver just completed his turn and continued on home. And his home was like half a block away. Apparently what the driver had planned on doing is, because he knew that his minivan was still functioning, he was just going to pull into his driveway and then walk back to the accident to review what had happened. Which is still, from what I understand, illegal, but it's good that he got his minivan out of traffic. But when he was about to get out of his minivan to go survey the damage, uh, he noticed that there was someone in his back seat. Yeah, the motorcyclist was just sitting in the back seat. How do you think this went down? It was probably kind of like... Oh shit, I'm alive. Whoa. Whoa. Oh shit, it looks like someone hit me. Dude, what are you doing? You just got in an accident back there. I'm I'm still in your back seat. Don't worry about it, I'll come back. Did you hear me? I'm in your back seat. Ah, oh, just gonna park here. Uh dude. Oh shit! Apparently this motorcyclist still only received a couple scratches and some bruises, so he got pretty lucky. He said that his helmet sustained most of the damage, so um... Wear your helmets. But I'm happy to know that these helmets are actually doing the job that they're intended to do. And I feel like I gotta share this with you guys, cause I read it at the bottom of the article that I got this information from. The article reads, The rear window of the minivan and the motorcycle both reportedly sustained severe damage. So there you have it. If you hadn't pieced it together already, both vehicles got pretty fucked up. I'd kind of assume that since the motorcycle slid under the minivan, that it would be pretty fucked up. And the fact that the motorcyclist himself actually crashed through the rear window of this minivan kind of implies that that was pretty fucked up too. So just in case you were wondering, yes, both vehicles got pretty fucked up. Alright, so as you all know, I had to take all my videos off of YouTube. But they've all been re-uploaded, so they're okay to watch again. If I could get my subscribers and anyone watching right now to go and thumbs up, favorite, comment on these videos again, that would be really great, and I would really appreciate it. This segment of the video is kind of just like a thank you segment for the viewers. Just letting you guys know that I do appreciate your continued viewership. As long as you guys keep watching, I'm going to keep making videos. Thanks for staying aboard.